now, from your weather authority, Chief Meteorologist Wayne Hart. Well, it's been a dry month of April, but we're finally going to get a soaking rain later tonight and tomorrow, and that would probably be enough. But we'll get another round Friday night into Saturday and then get back to some drier weather to close out the weekend. But today was a nice one. The clouds held off until mid to late afternoon. Our highs made it up between 70 and 75, a little warmer than normal. But tomorrow will be a little cooler, and we'll keep temperatures pretty close to average until the weekend, and that's when they will begin to drop as that second system drags down some chilly air. But as we check out live first warning Doppler radar, I've turned up the sensitivity around the radar. So a lot of this not reaching the ground. But where you see these darker shades of, of green, that's a little bit of light rain that's really coming up from the southwest right now. The air is still somewhat dry, so it's still uh, saturating from top down. But eventually, through the overnight hours, this is going to turn out to be a pretty steady rain by the time you wake up tomorrow morning. Here's a live view from Henderson. That's our Heads Construction Tower camera. Visibility is still pretty good here. Actually, very good. So rain, not all that significant yet, but that will change overnight. And it still feels pretty good. We're 60 degrees. Humidity is up to 57 percent, and it's a little breezy with a south wind at 13 miles per hour. Upper 50s to low 60s across the area, and we're just going to wind up uh, in the low 50s for a comfortably cool night. Now, we're dealing with rain up here, and we might experience a little bit of uh, no, thunder here in our southern counties as we head through the next 24 hours. Hours, but no uh, severe weather to worry about. And once again, they've had a tornado outbreak, not as significant as the last two weekends in the deep south. But look at these supercells that fired up in southeastern portions of uh, Oklahoma and then pushing into East Texas. Tornado watch is in effect there, and we've had several reports of tornadoes, and unfortunately, two fatalities in parts of Oklahoma, kind of in the Red River Valley there, another a supercell producing tornadoes there in East Texas. And that severe weather threat is going to continue eastward uh, through tomorrow, but bypass us to the south. So we've got the light rain moving in right now. Uh, future tracker increasing that overnight. So we've got a wet start to our day tomorrow. And then we'll see that rain gradually diminish from west to east in the afternoon. Temperatures ranging from mid-50s up towards Fairfield to, I'd say, low to mid-60s along and south of the river. So a bit of range in temperatures. That rain will end tomorrow night, and then we'll see some clearing. And Friday, the day itself looking pretty good. We'll have some sunshine. Clouds will gradually move on in. We'll warm into the upper 60s before the scattered showers and a few thunder showers begin to move in from the west again on Friday night. 7 p.m. It's hitting our western fringe. By 10 p.m., it's still fairly quiet, but during the pre-dawn hours on Saturday, the rain ramps up again. A wet Saturday morning, and then that rain gradually diminishes as we head into Saturday night. But between these two systems, round number one could give us as much as one to two inches of rain. You throw round number two on top of that, in general, it's looking like two to three inches of rain across the area by Saturday evening, with the heavier amounts now expected to be in our southeastern county. So overnight tonight, cloudy skies, rain will continue to increase, cool temperatures only into the lower 50s, so it's not going to feel uh, too bad out there. But tomorrow, kind of a, a rainy morning across the area, but that rain will be diminishing from west to east somewhat in the afternoon. And high temperatures ranging from 55 to 65. And then we see some clearing for Friday. And the day itself will be dry, 68 for the high. And then we'll see the scattered showers coming in Friday night, really increasing Saturday morning and then diminishing Saturday afternoon, but kind of a wet, windy, chilly day. 61 for the high. Nicer on Sunday, some clearing, but still kind of chilly. High again around 60. Monday looks nice, and then we warm up to some more showers and thunderstorms late Tuesday into Wednesday of next week. But kind of a 50-50 weekend on the way. Sunday will be certainly the day you want to plan any outdoor activities. We'll do that. Thank you, Wayne.